This is a big flower. Actually, it's the largest flower on Earth. It's called the stinking corpse lily. Yeah, you heard me right, but there are no bodies involved. You see, nature has come up with some mysterious ways to get their flowers pollinated, and this stinky flower uses the magnetic attraction of stinking flesh. Believe it or not, this isn't the only flower like this. I've covered another large flower, which may be larger, the corpse flower or the titum arum, which is different, much different than this one, the corpse lily. Technically, the corpse flower has an inflorescence or cluster of flowers, thus disqualifying it as the largest single flower, leaving this one here, the stinking corpse lily, as the champion. Being endemic to the rainforests of Borneo and Sumatra, this flower is one of the national flowers of Indonesia and was first discovered by a European botanist in 1797 by the name of Louis Augusta de Champs. De Champs. His specimen and notes were aboard his ship headed back to France, which was taken over by the British in 1798. These notes were confiscated and didn't see the light of day until they were rediscovered in the Natural History Museum in London in 1954. A British botanist, Joseph Arnold, and statesman Sir Stamford Raffles, side note, who's also known for founding modern Singapore, collected a specimen which was found by a Malay servant in Sumatra in 1818. Arnold started to render a colored drawing of the flower, but died soon after from a fever he contracted. Sir Stamford Raffles' second wife, Lady Raffles, was present when the specimen was collected and finished the colored drawing of the lily. A detailed description and the preserved flower passed hands a few times so it could be published in Britain and thus they could be able to name it. You see, back in these days, it was almost like the gold rush for these botanists to get their hands on new plants and claim victory finding them. In this case, William Jack, Joseph Arnold's successor in Sumatra, was aware of the French explorer Louis Augusta de Champs and his finding of the stinking corpse lily, but that record of discovery was confiscated by the British, which gave the British time to claim first discovery of the plant. This is exactly what happened with the stinking corpse lily. It was given the scientific name of Rafalsia Arnoldi after the two British men in 1821. The stinking corpse lily being the largest flower in the world can reach 3.4 feet or 1 meter in diameter and weighs 24 pounds or 11 kilograms. They grow very much like a cabbage, a very dark, almost black at first, eventually taking on a bright red, which takes a full year before they unwrap their petals and bloom. 90% of these buds won't reach maturity, but when they do flower, blooms last just a week before they die off and rot away. Once unwrapped, warty petals are revealed, which have a similar appearance to what they smell like. The inner core is hairy and almost alien-like, which emits a rotten fish smell that consists of volatile organic compounds such as sulfur. This smell attracts carrion flies, to which will pollinate it. The flower may be male or female, which requires flies to transfer the pollen from the male to the female plant, which is pretty remarkable, considering these flowers are not all that common. The females produce a fruit, which are consumed by insects and small animals who disperse the seeds around the forest. The seeds will develop a new Arnaldi lily if they sprout nearby a suitable vine which they can leach nutrients from. This flower has no leaves and is parasitic, just has fibers that leach nutrients from nearby plants and will bloom if it latches onto a tropical vine called Tetrastigma. After five years of growth, it will start to go into its bloom phase. This flower had its DNA sequenced recently and was found its closest relative are euphorbias, which are these tiny flowers. In fact, the stinking corpse lily is 79 times larger than the largest euphorbia out there, which happened 46 million years after they diverged from the euphorbia. This endangered plant is sought after for traditional unverified medicinal benefits or given as a gift, which really needs to stop if this species is going to survive.